Charlie Vanover, Mally Cornett, Cassie Schneid, and Charity Mack. And for Lincoln County, your regular Maddie Boyle, Logan Godby, Caitlin Wilkes, Emma King, and Jenna King. We are underway. Lincoln County wearing the road blue uniforms tonight by virtue of where they are in the tournament. And they're in the bracket, and there's Maddie Boyle again causing trouble out top on Vanover. Vanover puts it down, drives in, gets to the rack and blocked by Boyle. Taken out by Vanover, gets it out to Mack. Her shot on the way, good. Well, unfortunately, Lincoln County played great defense all in that trip until that last pass and a wide-open three-pointer that time. 3-0, that's the first time that Lincoln County has trailed in this tournament. They've led both uh, both games all the way from start to finish. We're going to get a uh, foul very quickly on the other end. And that's going to go against Johns, and that is their big player, Kevin. You talked about Emma King having 23 in the game. Johns had 24 the last game for Central. Tried to throw it in, and Johns picks up her first foul, goes out of bounds, and Lincoln County will go over to the side and take it out. Well, you watch a lot of players, and they're good athletes. But Ed Johns is a great basketball player, has a high basketball IQ, is able to score in a lot of different ways. Lincoln County behind, 3-0, but a three on the way from King, and no good. Emma missed it off to the right, rebound pulled down by Central. They come back, Cornette with a basketball, drives right side, gives it to Mack. She turned it over, double dribble, palming it, whatever you want to call it. She hit the big three last time, and Kevin, Lincoln County not used to trailing. They've not trailed over here. No, they haven't, and uh, we're going to have to try to work the ball inside and get Caitlin Wilkes involved early. Comes Logan Gabby into front court with it. Nice crossover. Drops it back to Boyle. Boyle goes right side. Gives it over to King. She fakes. Drives in. Dumps it down to Wilkes. Her shot up. No good. Won't go. Rebound pulled down by Central. Dishes it out to Mack. Lincoln County trails 3-0. Caitlin only had one point yesterday for Lincoln County, but when King was shooting 26 on the outside, they didn't go down low very much. She had some shots. They just wouldn't fall. Central with the basketball. Mack just hit the three on the right side. Gives it up now. Top of the key to Schneid. Schneid puts a dribble down. Oh, oh, picks it up too early now. Gives it to Mack. Lincoln County opening up in that man-to-man. Throws it out top of the key to Vanover. Drives in, and that's going to be a charge. Good job. Logan Godby taking yeah, the charge. Did a great job of getting position, and uh, Vanover lowered her shoulder too. Made a really easy call right there for the officials. 3-0, just underway in the championship game. Six minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first. Congratulations to the boys as they got a big victory today by 18 points over Montgomery County. They went 2-1 and one in that tournament. Finished third in the tournament. Gabby drops it down. There's that short jumper that Coach said that King likes from yesterday. Doesn't get it this time. Goes out of bounds back to Madison Central. Wilkes with a nice offensive rebound right there. Went back up for the shot and had it blocked. and A lot of contact in there. Coach called that the short corner. That might be my corner that I go to. Johns drives down, gets a shot up, no good. Won't go. Tipped out, though, by Godby. Coming down there is King. Emma King drives in, jumps, stop, pops, and rolls out, no good. There's Wilkes with the finish, won't go, and goes off the iron, but right to Jenna King. Drives in, gets past two, shot up, good. Lincoln County trails three to two. Boy, you'd like to see Jenna King uh, come right back after that big performance yesterday with another big one here. But how confident was that drive by Jenna King? And now they can set up their pressure. They haven't been able to do that yet off the misses. Boyle tries to turn over out front against Vanover. She gets it. Leaves it back out there now to Schneid. Schneid passes left side Vanover over to Mack. Tried to get it down low, and they do get the position down there. For- Sorry, uh, she was on the front side of Cornette. There was no backside help, and when Cornette turned, there was nobody there to guard her and go in the basket, and Wilkes fouled her. First free throw on the way, good. Four to two, Central on top, championship game of the Lady Lions Classic. Daniel joined me at halftime yesterday. I'll talk about that in just a second. Second free throw, good. He said last year they had a... Uh, kind of a non-bracketed tournament over here just to let the girls play, kind of like a little round-robin deal. So this year they decided to have the tournament. 5-2, King drives in and she walks. They're going to say Vanover got the top of the basketball. King jumped, and a lot of times that's called a held ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of batted it out of her hands, and they called her for the travel. But Madison Central in that zone right now giving Lincoln County some trouble. They're going to have to penetrate. They're going to have to get the ball down low and kick it back out. John's over on the right side. Knocked away by Lincoln County's King. Right to Wilkes. She dribbles down. Gets it. Oh, oh, tried to go bounce pass. Too strong. Taken away by Vanover. Vanover's going to stop. Pops on the right side. Gives it over there to Schneid. Down low it goes to Johns. They've got to get her going. Central does. They can't. Back out top to Vanover. On the right side in the corner it goes 
to Johns. Back out to Schneid. Passes over to Van Over. Moving it around to Mack in this corner. And knocked away by Wilkes off of Cornette. Turnover. Back to Lincoln County. They trail 5-2. In the last two trips, they've tried to get it down to Cornette. Wilkes is still on the front side, but both times Lincoln County's had a player step up on the back side, and that's caused two turnovers. Central in the 2-3 zone. Boyle passes left side to Godby. Back out top of the key. Boyle faces the double team. Now gets it over to Godby. Into Wilkes. Back out top of the key to Godby. Three-pointer. She can hit him. Misses this one, and it goes over to the right. She hit two three-pointers yesterday. Finished with 10 points, or sorry, 14 points, but couldn't get that one to fall. Had a good look at it. Just didn't come off her hand. Can look like it off the heel of her hand a little bit. 422 to go here in the first. Lincoln Trails 5-2. Schneid with the basketball for Madison Central. They have the ball in the lead. Van Over passes right side to John. She's not even gotten a shot up yet. John turns it over. Three-pointer on the way from Van Over. And in and out, no good. Wilkes claims the board. Passes outside to King. Here comes Emma. Down the middle of the floor. Over to Godby. Godby, she's going to try a three. No good. Rebound fought for. Knocked out of bounds by Central. Oh, they're going to say Lincoln County touched it. Oh, nobody likes that call except Central. Everyone on Lincoln's bench says no. They missed that one. Boy, it certainly looked like it went off a Central player. And Coach Cassandra McWhorter asking one of the other officials to kind of jump in and help out. And he appears to be stoned. 5-2. I don't mean that in a bad way. Stone face is what I meant to say. Not listening face. to it at all. 5-2. Three minutes, 44 seconds to go here in the first. Then over out top. Passes down the left side, taken away by Wilkes. That was actually slapped away by King first. Then it goes to Wilkes. Lincoln County has it on the turnover. Boyle leaves it out for Wilkes, gets it over to King. Got her, got her feet set this time. Got it. If she gets those feet set, look out. King right. With and, the then, three. and it was a good job that time by Boyle to penetrate and kick it back out to Wilkes, who quickly got it to King for an open shot. We're tied at five. First tie of the game. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go. In the first quarter, Mack on the right side brings it back out to Vanover. Tied at five. Three minutes, ten seconds. In the left-hand corner, it goes to Johns. Her jump stop on the way. Bounces out no good. But I thought, uh, how did uh, Cornette not get the call on that coming over the uh, – Cornette sandwich there on the rebound attempt and looked like she came over Wilkes back, but no call. If you're familiar with Garrett County's gym, Madison Central is shooting at the end where you first walk into the gym. Lincoln County on the other end. There's that short corner for Vanover. She puts it in good, and it's 7-5 Central. Madison Central doing a good job of not giving Lincoln County any fast break opportunities, and Lincoln County can struggle to score if they're forced to go half court all the time. Two minutes, 45 seconds to go. Central on top, 7-5. to five. Left side, King in the corner to Jenna. Her three-pointer, good! Jenna King puts Lincoln on top, 8-7. First lead for the Lady Patriots tonight. Both King sisters have the points. Three for Emma and five for Jenna. Eight, seven, two minutes, 26 seconds. Left side, it goes to Johns. Her first three-pointer, no good. And there's Wilkes to claim the rebound. Here come the Lady Pates. Boyle driving into front court. Gets daylight. Goes all the way up and under. Can't finish. Mack claims the rebound. Boyle saw a little daylight and took it and had a shot. Just wouldn't fall. Eight, seven, two minutes, seven seconds to go here in the first. Here comes Schneid into front court with it. Lincoln County in that 2-3 zone now. Like Coach said, they're going to start out man-to-man. Now they drop back, and that's going to be a foul on Wilkes, and that's it now. Wilkes probably going to sit the rest of the half. They were at the bench, but I don't know that that's the rotation that they were going to bring them in for. I mean, they were at the uh, scores table ready to come in. 8-7, Lincoln County leads it. One minute, 50 seconds to go in the first. Schneid with the basketball. They've gone the whole way with their starters. Lincoln County now has Napier and Sutherland in. Schneid, long three-pointer from the left side. Good. Count it. She was two or three steps behind the three-point line. Yeah, and for Madison Central, they're going to have to hit some shots like that. And unfortunately for Lincoln County, been a rough first quarter. Here's a three-pointer from the other end from King. No good, but Sutherland gets the rebound, goes back up, won't go. Emma King with the rebound, has it blocked, taken out of there by Johns. Lincoln County had two looks at it, couldn't get it to go. One minute, 18 seconds to go in the first. 10-8, Madison Central on top. Lincoln County's won both games by over 30, well, 30 points and then 33 points yesterday. Mack, cross-court pass. Down low to Johns, too easy. She gets it, but she misses it. Boy, she missed the point. Blank Napier claims a rebound, gets it out to King. She drives all the way down, blocked by Cornette. And Madison Central comes back with it. Van over. 
Breaks across the stripe. Under a minute to go. Passes right side. Max, she hit a three from there earlier. Misses this one. Rebound Cornett. Schneid, she hit the three last time. Misses this one. Rebound pulled down by Boyle. They're getting shots at it, but nothing falling. 10-8. Boyle comes into front court with it. Lincoln County trails by two. 35 seconds to go. King, top of the key, drops it down into Jenna. Jenna drives down, has her shot blocked, and taken out of the air by Cornett. Not getting any calls whatsoever, Kevin. No, Lincoln County not being very patient on offense either. Actually, both teams are kind of jacking up some shots. Really need to be a little bit more patient on offense. Under 20 seconds to go now, down to 17. Mack on the right side has it knocked away by Jenna King. And then Mack. Get back out for the threes. Instead, settling on perimeter jump shots right now. And only eight points in this quarter. So Lincoln County is going to go for the last shot. Can tie it up. Take the lead with a three. Shear with a basketball. Top of the key, Boyle. Boyle drops it in in the corner. King for three at the buzzer. Won't go. That's the way the first quarter. First quarter's in the books. Lincoln County trails 10 to 8 and just turned it over to Madison Central. Here's Tim Estes. Snide takes it away off the turnover. Gives it to Vanover. Drops it down low to Cornette. She loses it. Comes back to Lincoln County and Kevin, you and I said at the uh, break, uh, better be glad that Lincoln County or that Madison Central is not hitting because Lincoln County is not uh, hitting right now, and uh, they could be down worse than 10-8. to eight. Yeah, no points for Johns in that first quarter. Really a surprise. And Wilkes on the bench with two fouls. Uh, Central turns them over again. There's Johns as she just jumped up and knocked it away, but she turns it over to Shear. Shear comes back across the stripe. Lincoln County runs, finds Boyle. Boyle down to King, fakes one, fakes twice, goes up, misses, gets the rebound again out to Haley Sutherland. Her shot on the way, no good, and the rebound pulled down by Cornett. Lincoln County had looks at it, couldn't get it to go, 10-8. to eight. Here comes uh, Vanover with it, leaves it out top of the key now to Schneid. Gives it over to Mack, back out to Schneid. 10-8, Central on top. Seven minutes exactly to go in the half. Vanover passes to Mack, trying to get it down low to Cornette. Working down there against Napier. They've got Wilkes on the bench with two fouls. Johns over in the corner to Schneid. She drives baseline. She's cut off. Gets it over to Mack. Three if it goes. No good. Napier claims the rebound. Here come the Lady Pates running down left to right as we look at it. They're shooting toward the opposite end of the gym where you come in, and they throw it away again. Tried to go down low to King and threw it away as Mack took it away. Too many turnovers for Lincoln County, but at the same time, Central's turning it over, too. Yeah, and Central really packing in that zone and forcing Lincoln County to take outside shots. And Lincoln County tries to turn them over there, but it comes off of the foot of King, goes out of bounds. Emma King back in, Logan Godby back in, Boyle goes to the bench, and someone else has got to come out. Jenna King comes out. we got Godby, Sutherland, King, Napier, and Shear in, and... Central still has their starters. Johns, Vanover, Cornette, Schneid, and Mack. They don't play very many. Gets it inbounds. Vanover does to Johns. Picked up out there by Shear. Gives it over to Mack. 10-8. Central leads it over Lincoln County. Mack dribbling against Emma King. Out top of the key, it comes down to Vanover. She drives in. Has it knocked away, but gets it back. Shot up, no good. Napier skies for the rebound. Gets another one. Outlet pass. He goes to Sutherland. Lady Pates are running. Left side, he goes to Napier. Puts a dribble down. Little floater on the way. Good. We're tied at 10. Nice move that time by Zaria Napier. Little pull-up teardrop shot right there. Hey, She had nine points yesterday off the bench. Did a great job on the rebounds, too. 10-10. Tied. Lincoln County and Central. Five minutes, 43 seconds to go in the championship game. First half. Napier plays over the top, knocks it away to Sutherland. Sutherland has it knocked away, but it goes right back to Napier. Drives in, layup, good. Sorry, and Napier with the last four points. Lincoln on top by two. Timeout taken by Coach Cooksey. Ball presented by McKnight Funeral Home and Monument Company. Lincoln County Patriots are victorious today as they defeated Montgomery County 62-44. Congratulations to Ryan Young, Devin Alcorn, and Tanner McInnich making the all-tournament team. Lady Pates on a 4-0 run here in this midway, almost midway through the second quarter. Vanover gets it down low to Cornette, passes on the right side to John. She gets the baseline up and in good. We're tied at 12. Good ball movement by Madison Central that time. Lincoln came with full court man-to-man pressure, and once they broke it, uh, Madison Central had numbers. First two points. There's Sutherland with a three-pointer on the way. No good, but Napier claims the board. Leaves it out for King. Three-pointer on the way. Got it. 
Emma King with a three. Lincoln County up by three, 15 12. Credit that bucket also to Zaria Napier for keeping it alive. How about that? Four points and almost as many rebounds for Napier off the bench. And a sub in, and that is Talia Todd in for Central. She has it on the right side, drops it down to Cornett, and gets it down low and puts it up and in good over Logan Godby. It's a much different Madison Central team than uh, I saw a few weeks ago. 15-14. Lincoln County leads it. Four minutes, 30 seconds to go in the half. Sutherland drives baseline, gets it into Godby. Godby challenges. Shot up off the glass. No good. And we're going to get a foul. They're going to say... I'm going to say foul on Central. I guess a little undercut there is Bailey Vanover got the foul, and now Lincoln County gets the uh, side out into Napier. Drives it out to Sutherland. Back to Godby. Left side it goes to King, and they're going to get a moving screen. Is that right on Yeah, Shear? pretty obvious call there on Shear. Lincoln County ran a, what they traditionally run on an inbounds play under their own basket. They throw it into the corner, and they swing it around the perimeter, and, the, and it's usually wide open. The reason she was open then, Shear with the moving screen. So Todd comes in now with it after the uh, turnover, after the foul, and they're going to get King on the play there. Emma King picks up her first foul. Wilkes on the bench with one minute and 58 seconds to go. She picked up her second foul in the first quarter. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go here. It's 15-14. Lady Pate's on top. Into the backcourt it goes to Vanover. Picked up out there by Boyle, who came back in for Shear. Gives it over to Johns. Left side of the free throw line. Drops it over to Vanover. Top of the key, Todd. Gets it into Cornette. That's what they're going to try to do, and they do it again. Go down low to Cornette. And they're feeding her, and now Central's back on top. Nice drop step move by Cornette right there to get that bucket. 16-15. Down low it goes to Napier. Out to Godby. Back to Napier. Has it knocked away, and they're going to say it was knocked out of bounds by Central. And uh, Lincoln County gets the throw in. So watch Godby here, Tim, and she'll inbound, and then she'll run to the other corner. Try to get him swinging around. But Boyle takes the three up and in good. Maddie Boyle drains it. Lincoln County back out on top. That's Boyle's first three. And we're going to get a turnover. Here comes that pressure defense. And, Kevin, they've got to get those points to fall so they can get into that zone defense. And they've got to score off that defense as well. Yes. Simply getting turnovers is not enough. You have to score in transition. Here's another three, this time from King. In and out. No good. Boyle hit the last one. King can't get that one to fall. Rebound pulled down Schneid. Gets it down to Johns. Johns finds Todd. She's open. Won't go, but she's fouled. Thought that was going to be Johns, and she made a nice bounce pass to Todd. Really, Todd should have hit that bucket. Not much contact there. Todd, first free throw on the way. Got it. 18-17, three minutes, 26 seconds to go in the first half. Championship game of the Lady Lions Classic at Garrett County. Todd has another free throw coming. Eyes it, shoots it. Misses this one. Napier claims the rebound. Outlet pass, it goes to Boyle. Boyle comes down the right side of the free throw line. Swings all the way in. Gets over on the left side. Still dribbling. Brings it back out, and they'll reset. Central in the 2-3 zone. Johns and Todd very long and lean up at the top, Kevin, and they're causing some problems throwing over that zone. King gets it over on the right side. Her three in and out. No good. Rebound pulled down. By Cornette. It's one and done for Lincoln County, not getting any offensive boards at all. Vanover comes into front court, back to Johns. Johns drives in, kicks it over to Todd. Todd out to Schneid. Schneid picked up out there by Sutherland. Lincoln County in a man to man. Johns drives in, picked up by King, stops, pops, got it. And took Emma King to the paint right there and then crossed over, and King went flying by. Nice little move by Johns. Boyle with her. Another three-pointer on the way. No good, but we're going to get a foul on Lincoln County. In transition, the zone defense from Madison Central, and they are concentrating very much on getting back defensively. Snide gets it into Vanover. Vanover drives down, feeds it to Cornette. Gives it out top of the key to Schneid, right side to Todd. Her three-pointer on the way won't go. Nice block out that time by Logan Godby, and Johns comes over the back, and she picks up her second foul. Yeah, that's a big foul on Madison Central right there. Johns a very prolific scorer. Lincoln County's kind of held her in check here a little bit, but you can't expect to do that all game. 19-18, to 18, Lincoln County on top. Or actually trailing by one. Two minutes, eight seconds to go. 
King spins down. Oh, has it blocked, and they're going to call a foul. A lot of ball. Freudian slip. I don't know what is. Ryan and some of the basketball team came in. Uh, Ryan's eligibility is over. It's, he uh, is expired, it's yes. It's Noah and Devin and Tanner. Uh, thanks to Coach Jackson, they're listening to us, and I'm sure they got a kick out of that. Uh, I saw Ryan and some of the coaches over there. They, they've they been playing in a tournament as well. King misses the free throw. <laughs> wow. All right, second free throw up and good. My guess is if you throw Ryan the ball, he'll still shoot it think, right now. Yeah, he could probably make it as well. <laughs> King puts it up at the end after missing the first one. It's 19-19. to 19. One minute, 54 seconds to go. Driving down Vanover. That's the first time we've seen her drive, and she puts it up and in good. She's been doing the bulk of the passing, and now she drives and puts it in. Central on top, 21-19. Boyle leaves it out top of the key to King on the right side to Godby. Crossover in the middle to Boyle. Boyle fans it out on the right side to Jenna King. Emma King all the way, and they're going to call three seconds on Napier. I thought they might get her earlier. Napier was uh, hanging out in the lane, and I'm sure the Madison Central coaches probably put a bug in one of the referees' ears when they ran by that, you know, 23's hanging out in the lane. And certainly could have called it earlier as well. 125, Lincoln County turns them over. Napier makes up for it, goes back, lay up off the glass too strong. Won't go. Man, if, that, if that's one thing we've seen over here the last three days is missing some layups. Lincoln County could have won by more probably in the other games. There's Johns on the other end, her three-pointer. No good. Talia Todd goes in, rebounds it up. No good. Rebound pulled down by Godby. Back tapped out by uh, Todd to King, though. And Lincoln County sets under a minute to go in the half, 21-19. Lincoln County trails by two. Boil out. Madison Central, their bench is really up down there. Because they know how bad they got beat last time by Lincoln County. 81-47 in the last game. Nowhere close to that now. Napier walks. Well, I like what Lincoln County's trying to do against the zone now. They're trying to get some entry passes down low and either have Napier score or try to take a shot or fan it back out. They just haven't been able to connect on anything yet, but I like the idea. Here comes Central with a basketball in the lead. 30 seconds to go here in the first half, 21-19, Vanover passes right side to Todd. Todd goes in around Napier, and she walks. Yeah, that's a good call that time, and good defense that time by the Lady Patriots to force that travel. 21-19, Lincoln County trails by two. Championship game at Garrett County Middle School, which is what their high school used to be, but they still play their games here. Not sure when they're going to get the gym built in the uh, new school. Godby comes across the stripe. Left side it goes to Boyle. Boyle gets a screen, goes left side, jumper on the way, got it. Nice shot, Matty Boyle puts it up, 21-21. Good screen by Napier there as well. Tied at 21, seven seconds to go. Schneid gets it over to Vanover. Four seconds, three seconds, over to Todd. Her shot on the way, no good, and it's going to go out of bounds. Go to the half, Todd, 21-21, championship game of the Garrett County Lady Lions Classic. Is at Lincoln County this year. We were talking about that. The boys is at Lincoln County. Uh, the girls is at Plasky County because we flip-flopped them last year. So we were down with the girls at Plasky talking about them getting the, a chance to finish there. All right, so here we go. Second half underway now. Vanover, back in. Vanover, Mack, Schneid, Johns, and Cornett. And Lincoln County comes back with their starters as well. Boyle, Godby, King, King, and Wilkes. And Wilkes is playing with those two fouls. I guarantee you they're going to go down to Cornett very early and try to pick up th- three on Caitlin Wilkes if they can. Johns, top of the key, passes left side into corner to Mack, back out to Vanover, gets it to Johns. Only five, only four points in the first half for Johns after having 24 in the last game. So she's been quiet, but so have a lot of the Lincoln girls. Johns, right side, gets it into Schneid, drives baseline. Wilkes has got to be careful. She is. Just lets her go all the way baseline. They kick it out of bounds. And Lincoln's open up in a 2-3 zone here, and that's probably partially due to the fact that Caitlin Wilkes has two fouls. They're trying to protect her. 7-20, inbounds play. It comes to Schneid, wraparound pass, man over, up and in, good. Well, Lincoln County fell asleep at the switch right there and didn't uh, pick up the inbounding player, and she shot a layup. 23-21, went in and just kicked it right back over to her, and she put it up and in. Godby for Lincoln County into front court to Boyle. Boyle drives right. A shot on the way, no good. And Wilkes claims it and loses it to King. Gets it back up. She's fouled. She's going to go to the line to shoot two. Kaylin Wilkes got the rebound. Dished it over to King. King shot up, missed it, and then Wilkes claims it back. But 
um, King was just fighting really to get it up as soon as she could. Lincoln County, again, missing some point-blank shot opportunities right here. We saw that in the first game in this tournament, even though Lincoln County wound up winning going away, but uh, certainly leaving a lot of points on the table. Wilkes gets a shot up to fall, gives us a chance to give a shout-out to Homa Sasa, Florida, listening to us as they always do. I'm sure before long we'll be giving some shout-outs to some more folks in Florida as they head down that way. Both free throws good by Wilkes. That's Caitlin's grandparents. 23-23, 23-23, tied again, 6.50 to go. Right side it goes to Johns in the third quarter. Three-pointer, wide open, Schneid got it. Wide open, didn't rotate back over to get her. Well, and they had Mack kind of tied up against the sideline right here, and she made a great skip pass. 26-23, Boyle with it. Gives it over on the right side to King. Her three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound, Godby. Godby gets it into Wilkes, has it knocked away by Johns, taken away by Cornette. Drops it back to Snine, gives it up now to Vanover. 26-23. Kevin, I believe three points is about the largest lead either team's had, right? It's the third time that Central's had a three-point lead, and Lincoln's led once by three. Get a ball on the floor. We're going to get a held ball. Comes back to Lincoln County as Central started the third quarter with it. 26-23. Boys already victorious today. Noah Young, Devin Alcorn, Tanner McInich, all making the all-tournament team over there. Congratulations to those guys. 26-23. Lincoln trails by three. Six minutes to go in the third. King, three-pointer on the way. Oh, they're going to say two. She's yeah, inside the line. She drove in and then hit a little step-back shot right there. Good shot by Emma King. All right, 26-25. Pulls Lincoln County to within one. Give nine points to Emma King. Fan over. Top of the key. Goes right side. Now back left side. Schneid again from that same spot. Won't fall this time. Jenna Keene claims the board. Here come the Lady Pates running right to left. Over to Boyle on the left side. Boyle brings it back out to King. That's Jenna. Back to Boyle. Her three-pointer on the way. No good. Chased it down to the right side is Emma King. Drives in. Jumper. Good. Lincoln County back on top. 27-26. Nice, line jumper. nice job by Emma King that time. Just as soon as she got that loose ball rebound, just drove immediately down the baseline and got an open shot. Schneid to Vanover. Back to Schneid. She didn't take the three this time. Same spot. Right side to Mack. Out front, Vanover. Lincoln County in a 2-3. Mack back out to Vanover. Vanover to Schneid. In the corner goes to John. She's ready. She fires. No good. Rebound pulled down King. Jenna King drives down the middle of the court. Looks right. Comes left. Passes to Boyle. Drops it in to Wilkes. Wilkes fakes one way, goes up. Left-hand shot, no good, too strong. Rebound pulled down by Schneid. 27-26. Lady Pates on top. 4.45 to go here in the third quarter. Vanover with the basketball. Lincoln with the lead by one. 27-26. Johns on the left side. Back to Vanover. Back to Johns. Back to Vanover. Right side it goes to Mack. Working it around top of the key. Trying to get it into Cornette. They can't feed her. Johns back to Vanover. Drives in. Gives it over to Mack on the right side. Back out to Vanover. Vanover over to Johns. Cross court pass to Mack. Down low it goes to Cornette. Has it knocked away, and Wilkes takes it after King knocked it away. And now it comes back to Emma King. Left side it goes to Jenna King. In that corner, gives it back out to Emma. Three pointer on the way. Got it! Emma King with another three. Puts Lincoln on top by four. Biggest lead of the night for Lincoln County, and what ball movement by the Lady Patriots that time. And again, the 2 3 zone for Lincoln County working well. Madison Central just passing it around the perimeter. Seven points in this quarter by Emma. Down low it goes to Schneid. Up and under. No good. There's Cornette with the rebound. And I believe they're going to get... And they're not being very active inside. Lady Patriots have uh, gotten some easy rebounds, and a lot of times it's hard to rebound out of that 2-3 zone because you don't have a specific person to box out. But Lady Patriots have done a good job. But it's in part to the fact that Madison Central, I think, has been a little bit lazy offensively. Cornette gets the shot to fall. Makes it 30-27. to She has another one coming. Second free throw on the way. Got them both. 30-28. Lincoln County leads by two. Three minutes, 48 seconds to go. A lot of folks listening to us on the way back from Winchester tonight as they went over to watch the boys win. Big win for them. Went 2-1 and in that tournament, losing only by nine points to LCA. King dribbling. Passes left side to sister Jenna. Her three-pointer on the way. Too strong. Rebound pulled down. Schneid leaves it for Vanover. Vanover. Comes down the right side to Mack. Mack drives in. Shot up good. Went right at Wilkes that time, and she couldn't do anything. We're tied at 30. 
Nice offensive move that time by Max. She's been pretty quiet since hitting that first three-pointer to start the game. 30-30, to 30, Lincoln County and Central tied up. Godby drives in, gets it to King, fans it out to to or Wilts to King. Good. That's the way to find her open. Emma King drains another three. It was all started with Godby's penetration, dumped it down low to Wilkes, who immediately kicked it out, and Emma King with an open three. Stepped into it. Great offensive ball movement. Ten of the 12 points in this quarter have come from Emma King. The other two coming from Wilkes, finding it down low. And they're going to call a blocking foul on that. And a, a college men's team do. That would be a dunk right there. But obviously in high school girls basketball, you're not going to get that. But it's a still an effective play. They set that back screen on the opposite block. And that player comes in off the or down the baseline and just lob it into her. She really should have laid that in. There wasn't a whole lot of contact there, but obviously enough to uh, change the direction of the shot. First free throw from Johns is good. Second free throw good as well. Hits them both. Central's only missed one free throw tonight. They're seven out of eight from the line. 33-32, 2.40 to go in the third. Lincoln leads it in the championship game by one. Down low it goes to Wilkes, knocked away by Cornette out of bounds. That was a good overplay that time as she came over Wilkes and knocked it out. Yeah, Wilkes had a pretty good seal on her down low, but almost backed herself too far underneath. 2.36 to go in the third. Both teams have gone with their starters exclusively here in the third quarter. No subs at all. King on the left side, drops it down to Sister Jenna. Fakes once, got to get out of there. She does, gets it to Emma, drives in, little floater on the way, won't go this time. Mack claims the rebound, passes out to Vanover. 33-32, Lincoln County on top by one. Schneid in the corner to Johns, fires a three, no good. There's Mack, though, with the offside rebound and gets it out to Vanover, has it knocked away by Jenna King. Good play. By 31, Jenna King knocks it off of her out of bounds. Well, Jenna King's done a great job of, of picking up those hustle plays and getting deflections, and that one uh, turned out a big favor for Lincoln County. She got the deflection that went off a of Madison Central player. Two minutes, four seconds to go here. King wanted the three that time, didn't take it, gets it in the corner to Jenna, back out to Emma. Emma King puts a dribble down, now to Boyle. Boyle back to King. This three-pointer on the way, in and out, no good. Man, it looks so good leaving the hand, goes down. Comes back out. 33-32, under two to go now in the third quarter. Boy, Mack took off, and Vanover was lucky to catch that one. Threw a chili pepper. Oh, she, I don't think she, she knew it was coming that way, but Vanover was right there. Boy, they missed that too. Mack goes down and shoves Godby, and nothing goes. Mack tries to go baseline. To Inbounds play coming from Vanover. Don't forget this last time, now Lincoln County is man-to-man, mixing it up after the out-of-bounds play. In low it goes to Mack. Mack shot up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Back up. No good. Fouled. She's going to go to the Very quickly and got her the ball. Both teams uh, not hitting a lot of the point blank shots. Both teams could really have scored a lot more points than they have tonight. Free throw on the way. Got it. It's nine points for the free throw line. Only three for Lincoln County. Eighth tie of the night. Tim with seven lead changes. 33-33. One minute. 20 seconds to go. This free throw no good. We stay tied at 33. Mack missed him. Lincoln County comes into front court with it. Boyle passes left side to Sutherland. Back to Boyle. Back to Sutherland. Won't take the three. Now gives it to Boyle. Trying to go down low to Wilkes. She does. Gets a left-hand shot up. Good. PBK bank shot. Lincoln up two. Well, I like what Caitlin Wilkes did right there. She called for the ball, and when they threw it down to her, she backed her man down and let it get really, really deep. Nice little drop step move as well. Under a minute to go in the third. Mack drops it down low to Cornett. Puts it up and in good. Going right back at Wilkes again with that two fouls. Yeah, and if Wilkes is going to front, Lincoln County's going to have to be quicker on the backside defensively. 35-35. Tied with 38 seconds to go here in the third. Sutherland brings it back out, top of the key to Boyle, passes left side. King gets baseline, jumper on the way, got it. How smooth was that? Yeah, and Mac just let her go. Emma King, a big quarter. 12 points for Emma in this quarter, 37-35. She has 12 of the 16 points. Mack loses it, but goes and gets it to Schneid. Her three-pointer, no good. Lincoln County boxes out. Boyle gets it. Gets it over to Sutherland. Lay up. Good. Lincoln County on top by four. 39-35. Van Over's got to hurry. Try to get a shot at the buzzer. She does. Won't go. That's the way we go to the final quarter. Lady Pates on top. 
39. Three quarters are in the books. The Lincoln County Lady Patriots lead 39-35. Their largest lead of the night is four, and that's what they have right now. Madison Central is led by as many as three, seven lead changes, and nine ties in what has been a very, very good championship game. Here's Tim Estes. It's the way you want the championship games to go. Lincoln County on top four. 7.54 to go here. Johns with a basketball picked up out there by Shear. Shear, Napier, Boyle, Wilkes, and Sutherland. Right side it goes to Schneid. Schneid to Johns. Johns drives baseline, leaves it back for Cornette. Gets it over to Vanover. Good defense by Sutherland. Drives up and under. No good. Found good. Lindsey Johns haven't gotten much from Cornette either, and yet they only trail by four points in the fourth quarter. Vanover. She has six on the night. Spins, eyes, shoots. No good. Back of the iron. Comes really, been out. A, really been a tribute to their defense tonight. Lincoln County, again, going into that fourth quarter with only 39 points, holding Lincoln under their average. But Emma King, uh, what a great third quarter. Missed them both. Well, that's the first time that's happened for Central to miss both free throws. They were shooting good. They were uh, 10 out of 12 before the, those thir- those two. 39-35, pa- Lady Pates on top by four. Boys have already won today, going 2-1 and one in their tournament. Oh, there's an overplay by Johns as she steps in and takes it away. Ashir was trying to go to Boyle, and then Napier comes back and takes it away and saves it in bounds. How athletic is that? Shear on the left side to Sutherland. Sutherland drives in, splits the double team, too short. Rebound, pulled down by Cornette. Boy, she had a good look at it, Kevin. Just couldn't get it to fall. Here's yeah. Vanover. Pretty good defense here by Madison Central, though. Over to Mack. Mack out top of the key to Schneid. Central has made one substitution this entire game. These starters have gone the entire way here in the fourth quarter. Cornette gets it down to Schneid. Up against Sutherland, no good. Gets her own rebound. And we're going to get a foul. Couldn't get the uh, d- bit deeper in the game. Now she can afford to, to maybe pick up her third, but really haven't tried to get Cornette the ball in the low post like I thought they might. Foul is on Maddie Boyle, her first. Schneid picks up the free throw, cuts the lead to three. Another free throw coming. And she makes it. Eight points for Cassie Schneid, makes it a two point lead for the Lady Pates, 39 35. Shear passes left side to Boyle. Boyle, top of the key to Sutherland. Sutherland back to Boyle. Left side, three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down Schneid. Outlet pass, it goes to Vanover. Lady Indians are running down to Johns, and we're tied. Johns goes up, puts it in off the transition. Great fast break that time by Madison Central. 39-39, another tie. Six minutes, 15 seconds to go. After Lincoln led by four, all four points have come from uh, Central shot up no good from Wilkes. Rebound pulled down Cornette. Outlet pass it goes to Johns. Johns up and under. No good. She's fouled. And that's going to be a blocking foul. I believe Shear is going to pick that one on the floor. So you talk about a teeter-totter game. Lincoln County's led by four. Central's led by uh, by three. And it's been back and forth and back and forth. And Johns misses this one. King comes back into the lineup for Shear. Emma King checks back in. That's when I was bragging on their free throw shooting. They missed three in this quarter You should quarter have said alone. something earlier. <laughs> Maybe so. Second free throw, good. One-point lead now for Central. 40-39, to 39, six minutes to go in the championship game. <clears throat> Regulation, maybe. Right side, Sutherland. Back out top of the key to Boyle. Boyle passes left side to King. King won't take the three. Back to, to Napier. Back out to Boyle, and they'll reset. Central in the 2-3. Boyle passes left side to King. She's open. Three-pointer on the way. This one's short. Rebound pulled down by Johns. Johns comes down, drives all the way down. Nobody turns her. Shot up. No good. Blocking foul. And they're going to call that on Emma King. So Johns goes back to the line. Free throw on the way. Good. 41-39. Lincoln trails by two, 5.32 to go. Shooting for their largest lead of the night at three. Lincoln's led by as many as four. Johns eyes it, makes it. 42-39, 5.30 to go. Lincoln County led by four to start this quarter. It's been all central so far here. Boyle right side to Godby. Back out to Boyle, left side King. Drives baseline, gets open, jumper on the way, no good, won't go. Rebound pulled down. 
by Johns, and they can add to their lead. Lincoln County has not scored in this quarter. Would like to have seen Emma King drive more baseline right there and get some contact and get to the free throw line. Mack out to Cornett. Jumper on the way. No good. Rebound pulled down by King. 42-39. Lincoln trails by three. 4.56 to go. Boyle gets it into Wilkes. Wilkes fakes. Goes up. Blocked. Cornett just knocked it out and it goes right to Vanover. Vanover goes down on the left side. Gives it to Snide. Back to Vanover. 42-39. Central on top. Lincoln County in the 2-3. Boyle picks up, drives down, shot on the way, Vanover, no good. Went all the way, they cleared out for her. She couldn't get it to go. Here come the Lady Pates, trailing by three. Right side to Godby. Godby gets it into Napier, back out to Boyle. Top of the key for the tie, got it! Now Lincoln County that time went inside, and Napier with a uh, pass back out to the top of the key. So much easier for shooters to grab that ball, or get the pass coming right at him and go straight up and shoot. Matty, Matty Boyle drains it for the three. Lincoln County tied at 42. Four minutes, five seconds to go in the championship game. Schneid fakes, drives in, gets it, puts it up and in good. They got a challenger. Yep, got past the first defender. Lincoln didn't do a good job of stepping over and picking her up. She went all the way to the basket and laid it in. 9-3 run in this quarter. Central on top, 44-42. King drives baseline. Little runner on the way. No good. Knocked out of bounds. Stays with Lincoln. Early. And once you do that, it kind of opens things up, especially for a scorer like Emma King. Rotated back to the starters in for both teams now as Jenna King comes back in for Napier. Boyle gets it into King. Turnaround jumper. No good. Rebound pulled down by Snide. Gets it out to Vanover. 44-42. Central on top by two. Boyle trying to turn him over, but turning it up. Vanover goes down, and we're going to get a double dribble call. Again, the defense from Matty Boyle. Calls us a turnover. We saw it happen the last two games, and now it's turning up for Lincoln. Well, Maddie Boyle spun her right at the half-court stripe, and when she got into the front court, Vanover made a nice crossover, but Maddie Boyle recovered very quickly, forced that turnover. All right, here come the Lady Pates trying to tie it up with a two, take the lead with a three, and throwing it down and knocked out of bounds by Cornett, so stays with Lincoln County. Last couple trips, Lincoln's done a much better job of trying to get the ball in the paint to score or kick it back out for an open shot. 3-14 to go. Inbounds play comes, and they're going to say walking call on Jenna King. Kind of fell backwards a little bit, but I thought she got pushed. Well, if, if, if they had seen Jenna King just a fraction of a second earlier, she was wide open for a long time on that inbounds play. Would have had an easy layup, just a little late with it. Couldn't tie it up, so Central has the basketball and the lead, 44-42. Three minutes, two seconds to go in the quarter, or in the game, and Johns drives down, and there's the largest lead of the night for Central at four, 46-42. He had a bad time for Lincoln County for Johns to start uh, heating up offensively. Boyle passes left side to King, back to Boyle. King over on the left side, gets it down to Jenna. Tries to go down low. We're going to get a kick ball, and it's going to go out of bounds. That's good offense that time by Lincoln County, even though they got the kick ball, but threw it down to King on the baseline, and she was going to hit a cutting. Caitlin Wilkes going to the basket. Boyle gets it over on the left side to King. King back to Boyle, and we're going to get a foul down low. Cheryl Goodwin, Florida tonight on their way down, and Marvin Lane listening to us tonight. He says, let's go, Lady Pates, pull this one out. Three-pointer on the way. No, they're just going to say two, right? Was it just a two-point two? basket? Yes. Right, two-point basket by King and puts it in. Was that Jenna? Or Jenna Emma? King. That was Jenna with the two on that short corner. Makes it 46 44, 223. Here comes the pressure from Lincoln County. Vanover has to chase it down. She gets it, comes back, gets it over to the left side. The cornet drives in, and they're going to get Wilkes on her third trap. She was able to split the trap, and then once she got into uh, by them, she had numbers and found Cornette, and Cornette took it to the rack. 46 44, free throw on the way. Good. Cornette's done some damage tonight. She has 11. Well, how much better this team looks than just a couple weeks ago. Credit Coach Cooksey with the turnaround. They've won seven straight since that big defeat to Lincoln County. Both free throws good. Back to a four-point lead now with two minutes and ten seconds to go. 48-44. Lincoln needs some buckets. 2.05 to go. King drives in. Gets it over on the right side to Jenna. Three-pointer on the way. Missed it. Rebound pulled down Cornette. Gives it back to Vanover, under two to go. Lady Pates trail by four. 
48-44. Mack down on the right side. Brings it back out to Vanover. Vanover. Dribbling against Boyle. And we're going to get a timeout called by Coach Lady Pace. Trail it by four. 48-44. Championship game of the Lady Lions Classic in Garrett County. Haven't trailed hardly. Well, they hadn't trailed until tonight in this game. They won the first one by 30 and then by 33. Mack on the right side. Gets it to Johns. Johns drives in. Gets it over to Cornett. Up and in. Good. Cornett puts it in. A six-point lead for Central. 127 to go. Lincoln needs to score in a hurry. Uh, King drives down. Misses the runner. Rebound pulled down by Johns. Gets it out to Mack. Mack gets it to Vanover. Vanover. Crossover dribble. And they're going to say she turned it over. Yeah, she keeps pinning the ball to her thigh. Both times that they've called, that's been a good call, and it's been the defense of Lincoln County that's forced it. 50-44, to 44, one minute, 15 seconds to go in the championship game. Lincoln County needs some points in a hurry. Largest lead in the game at six. Well, they need to hurry up, but be patient at the same time, Tim. Don't take a bad shot. Into Wilkes, kicks it left side. Jenna King, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, pull down Johns, outlet pass, it goes to Schneid. 103 to go. Schneid has it taken away by Boyle and loses it out of bounds. Matty Boyle chased it down in the left-hand corner but lost it out of bounds. Instinctive move by Matty Boyle that time, just anticipated it. And Sometimes you'll see it uh, in, in uh, men's basketball as a player maybe going to, for a dunk and uh, the defender will time their jump. It looks like they're, they're slowing down. That's what Boyle did, but cut it off and just unfortunately lost it out of bounds. Under a minute to go now in the game. Central leads it 50-44. to 44. Mack. On the right side with it, gives it back to Vanover. Now, Kevin, does Lincoln need to maybe get a, some – well, they've been so good from the free throw line tonight, though. And Johns turns it over, and they're going to say it knocked off of Lincoln County's guy. But you thought she walked I with it. I did, too. I thought she traveled with it first, but knocked out of bounds by Lincoln. Lincoln's going to have to foul, trailing by six here with 45 seconds to go. You can't watch Central just dribble it out. Yeah, you got to get some fouls and hope that they miss and get the ball back. John get, Johns gets it into Vanover, takes it back. And we're going to get a foul away from the bucket. Yeah, Lincoln County just the the missed short shots. They've taken some bad shots offensively as well tonight. Has really uh, done them in at this point, trailing by six with uh, just over 40 seconds. And she hits this one when she has to. 51-44, seven-point lead, 42.5 seconds to go. Another free throw coming on the way. Misses it. Rebound pulled down. Godby. Lincoln's got to hurry. Gets it into Boyle. Boyle, top of the key. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound Mack, and she's fouled back there by Jenna King with 33.1 seconds to go. Good quick foul that time by Jenna King, but Lincoln's got to get better shot selection, I think, and try to work the ball down low and see if an inside player can you know, hit a bucket and get fouled, but struggle to do that tonight. Mack, one out of two from the free throw line. She has six points on the night. Free throw on the way. Drains it. Not a single substitution for Central in the second half. Their starters have played the entire game. There's only one early, and that was Todd. And it's not like they've not scored 18-5 to five in this final quarter, Kevin. They led it by four going into this quarter, 39-34, but... It's been all central. 30 seconds to go. Here we go. King, inbounds play to Boyle. Boyle looking at the 2-3. Got to hurry. Drives in. Gets to the rack. Shot on the way. No good. Mack claims the rebound. And with 22.5 seconds to go, Mack is going to go down where she just hit two. Five points in this quarter after scoring 18 the last quarter. Yeah, shot's not falling for the Lady Patriots here in the fourth quarter. And central, I thought... uh, did a great job in the fourth quarter of getting out in transition and kind of beating Lincoln at their own game. So Mack is going to go to the line. She has eight points on the night. Dribbles, eye shoots, makes it. When you talk about a turnaround from 81-47, they're up 10 with 22.5 to go. Free throw on the way, good. 11-point lead. Inbounds play comes to Boyle. She's got to hurry. She does across the stripe. Gets it up to Emma King. Deep three on the way. No good. 
Rebound pulled down. Van over. Kicks it away. Right to Jenna King. Ten seconds. Left side to Emma King. Tries to get it over to Boyle. She does. And they're going to say it goes out of bounds but stays with Lincoln County. 7.2 seconds to go.